on the way to the dealership uh, to something old I've got. Got on the job this morning and it wouldn't crank. So I had to tinker with it a little bit and come to find out it's, um, it's toast. It won't crank, there's no compression. When you try to crank it, there's a little rattling noise in, in it somewhere. And I took the spark plug out of it and put my finger over the spark plug hole and there is no compression at all. Get back to the shop, I'm gonna demonstrate that, but we're gonna to run to the dealership right quick and pick up a new something and um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll resume when we get there. <laughs> hey y'all <laughs> we're at the dealer um, I've already picked up what I had to come and get but I did want to show y'all something take y'all kind of on a little tour there's a there's a zero turn I right know that now but anyway guys they sell Red Max this is the Red Max section here blowers mowers and yeah, ATVs Shindawa now, Shindai was okay. It's not my personal favorite, but you know, they're a good machine. They have the the Shindawa blowers. That's a strange looking hedge trimmer right I there. I believe this is a. You ever seen a hedge? You ever seen a hedge trimmer like that? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Oh yeah. Now you come on mm. down this way. And now we get into the more recognizable you have, stuff. You have all your echoes. The national brand. And here's the beast. Yeah, that's the new 9010T right there. Yeah, we have the 8010T. Yep, we have the 8010 This is the flawless one. This or is the less upgraded flawless. version of the 8010T. Hey, dang, look. It has two cages. Uh-huh. Now, right here, this is all your combi for your combi units. You buy the power head, and then you just use these. You can enter, these are interchangeable with the power heads. How useful would that little bit of a guard be? Well, it's obviously it obviously does good. This one comes with a speed feed head too. Oh. But anyway, a wheel. You have all your wheels, just about from just probably just about anything you could want a wheel for. Here's and the then, slasher movie section. Check that out. Fish made of mower blades. Leatherface was here. I believe mm -hmm. some of your blades is about wore out. <laughs> A few rusted. He's been swimming. He, I think his but swimming days are over. They, um, oh, look at that. They have rear time and front time tillers. They have no snow blowers because uh, we don't mm -hmm. get snow. Yeah. Mm. Well, I can't say that now when we haven't had snow. But, uh, I like this right here. I'm, I'm gonna look at investing in one of these. Abra, Cadabra. And not a bad price. Abra, Abra, Cadabra. I'm gonna reach out and grab you. That sounds like something Forrest Gump would say to Jenny. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna reach out and grab they you, have, Jenny. They have steel pressure washers. RB. RB 800. So RB is like pressure washers and PB is blowers. Or well, that's echo blowers. Oh, right, duh. Um, and they have, you mean they have your big commercial units and then they have your smaller. This is RB 600, units. so which one's bigger? What, what number this was the other one? This is an 800. This is the bigger one. 
All right, so that's a 600. I'm not sure how many. Yeah, I'm calling. And here's the, here's the less known, some of the lesser known this one's 4, brands. PSI, like, four gallons of water a minute. Here's McLean, Troy Built, Massport, another Red Max, and a Little Wonder, and Billy Goot. Yeah, that right there is a monster right there. If only it was a sit down. Like if you could, if you could attach this thing to the front of a zero turn, that would be banging. Yeah, it would be. But they have, they sell Bobcat. They sell Red Max commercials. And I've, I've often wondered how, how good one of those would work. It looks like something homemade, to be honest. But they have. But it looks like it works. Lord, Lord of mercy! Look here, they got they got electric steel. I didn't know steel made electric mowers. Oh, look a vacuum, a leaf vacuum. Oh, look at the look at the female. Oh, Lord. Behind mm. you. I don't think. Why is there two pockets? I don't know. All right, guys, you've heard of Ghost Rider. Set this thing on fire, you got Ghost Mower. Am I right? I, if you say so. <laughs> now, here's my favorite section. You look like an idiot. Steel. This is my favorite section. They've got just about every kind, any kind of uh, trimmer line you could ask for. And if you're wondering, guys... They do sell Gravely and Aaron's, but all that stuff is outside because it's mowers mainly. We're going to be going out there in just a, just a minute. They have chainsaws. Mm -hmm. They have blowers. Data workshop. And he, here's your combi right here. Here's the, here's the oil. VP, Opti4, True Fuel. Here's your combi units right here. You got the steel, 409, 379. Chainsaws. Speaking of slasher movies. Yeah. Jesus. And here's your oils here. I mean guys, this this dealership has everything you could ever you, you could ask for. You got all your trimmer heads, all your um push cutter heads, everything. Now come here in a second, Nate. If you're wondering if you've ever wondered what's inside your weed eater, this is a, an actual weed eater piston. And you have this is a bigger one, you have your smaller ones like that one. And as you can see, that says wrong oil. Somebody run the wrong kind of oil in it. That's why it looks like it does. And it's scored on the side. See that score right there on the side? Mm. That's why. Now look at this one. I don't know what happened there, but that one had a bad day. What does what the tag say? Hold on. Nothing. Man. It doesn't say anything. But that one there had a bad day. Hi. Hey. It broke. It fell off. Yeah. See, this one says valve broke. See the, the damage to the piston right there? This one also says wrong oil. I guess this is... No, a, that's the uh, first wrong oil one that you grabbed. No, this one is. It says no, that's valve, valve broke. broke. There's two valve brokes. No, no, no oil. oil. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You can feel the rough. Oh, Lord. Feel that. Mm compared to mm. well compared to that one feel that one mm. Nate had to step to the restroom for a minute but anyway I did want to show you these here's your gravely um, this is a 60 inch pro turn ZX and here's the pro stance right here and uh, now this right here I'd like if I could find if I could get a um, a stander in about a 36 inch, I would, but it would depend on the price. They they have this uh, 34 inch right here and on, on a ride on, and I don't know. Uh, let me see if there's a price on this one. There isn't, but this right here, this this kind of machine right here, this size is really 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 good for getting inside of uh small gates and things like that that's what i'm that's what I, if i bought one that's what i would buy one for because i've got this is a 52 inch pro stance now 
I've always said I would not buy a stand-on machine. And the reason why is because I'm 55 years old and I've never owned, never been on one before. Although the platform on this one, as you can see, I'm bouncing up and down. The platform is actually spring, it's spring and shock loaded. And so when you're driving alone, driving along rather, you're actually flexing pretty good as you can see by the camera. And I'm not moving my arm, my arm is completely still. But anyway, let me move on here. They've got Red Max Riders. That's a, that right there is more of a homeowner grade or a residential um, Red Max. And these are your Red Max. Now here, down here are your Bobcats. And there's a 42 inch, there's a 61 inch, there's a 52 inch, and here's a 36 inch stand on. I'm, I tried the Gravely one, let me try this one. You see, this one is a, quite a bit more stiffer. Now, I'm, I'm jumping up and down on this one about like I was the Gravely one, and this one is quite a bit stiffer. So, here's the back side of the bobcats but guys this dealer and, and for for uh for reasons of anonymity and privacy i'm not saying the name of the dealer if you want to message me privately i will give you the name of the dealer privately and if you live around this area you can come and check them out oh yeah All right, guys, we're back at the shop now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little walk along I did in the in the, the dealership. They've got a multitude of things available for whatever brand you want, uh, whether it be steel, whether it be a Red Max, Shindawa, um, the uh, Echo, you know, Echo line of, of uh, equipment, they've got it all. And uh, they also deal in uh, errands. They deal in Bobcat, as you saw, Gravely, and um, what's the other one? Red Max. So there you go. I mean, I, 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 what, I'm, what I want to do is talk to the owner and get a time where it's good for him to kind of take us around and let him uh, give you kind of a detailed tour. But yesterday wasn't the time he did. He was real busy doing paperwork and stuff trying to get ready for spring, trying to get orders out and everything like that. So he just he just didn't have time. But anyway, as I told you in the beginning of this video, we were on a job and I got my hedge trimmer out. As you can see, this is my hedge trimmer. I used it day before yesterday and it ran fine. No problems at all. And when I got it out yesterday, I was on a big commercial job and there was a certain uh, section of bushes I've been trying to get to, but with the weather the way it has been in North Carolina here in the last two or three weeks, I just haven't been able to get there. Well, yesterday was the day. And when I, crank, when I went to crank this thing, I realized something wasn't right. I discovered that it, it's lost its compression. Now, I could have taken it to the shop, let them work on it, and probably paid two, $250 to get this thing fixed, which is about what it would have cost, they told me. I didn't want to go that route. I uh, decided it was better to upgrade rather than spend money on a on a, a used hedge trimmer. Now, don't get me wrong. This thing has been a beast the whole time I've had it. I, I found that yesterday. They looked at my, my purchase record, and this machine, this, this hedge trimmer is eight years old now understand what i just said eight years old and i use this thing probably an hour to an hour and a half every day from about the middle of march until december so that just do that do the math and that tell you how many hours this particular hedge trimmer has on it so anyway let me show you exactly why i, I just had to go to the dealership 
Now, I'm going to take the spark plug um, boot off, and I want you to see that the spark plug is still in the cylinder. As you can see right there, I'm going to make sure it's in the shot, in the camera shot, and it's not. Hold on a second. As you can see, the spark plug is still in the cylinder. So, it is not spark plug less. Now, let me show you why I had to go to the dealership. When you pull the rope and there's no resistance on it, that now, I'm, I'm going to put one fingertip on this. That's bad. That's bad. There's no compression on this whatsoever. Now, I want you to listen. Hear that clicking noise? I have no idea. Now the piston is moving up and down, but I don't I don't know what that noise is, and that's not good. So what did I decide to do to fix this? How could I fix this? This is how. Introducing the brand spanking new zero hour steel. I'm not even sure exactly what model it is because I've not, I mean, we cranked it up. Is the HL94 hedge trimmer. Now, what's different between this one and this one? This. Number one, it's way longer. Number two, if I can do a quick demonstration on this, you pull this, this black thing back, and the head is kind of cumbersome. The head articulates. You see, you can trim straight up. You can go at any angle you want and it locks in place. That's the difference. Not only that, I'll show you the sheer length of this thing compared to my old one. Now, engine to engine, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but I'm going to walk around and pick the camera up so you can see this. Oh, you it's getting it. Okay, there we go. Now, you see the, the length difference? The end of the blade on this one stops right here. This one goes way out here. Now, I've got the specifications on this new one, and I'm going to read them out here in just a second. But I wanted to show you something before I went any further. Now, how can you tell? How can you tell you've got no compression? Well, I'm going to show you. Like I said, I'm going to hold one finger on here. And look, no compression at all. Now, one finger on this one. I can't hold it down. I have to have my whole hand. We're on this one, one finger. That's not good. So rather than spend $200, $250 in fixing this, putting a new power head or whatever it would cost to do it, uh, I decided that one was eight years old. The jobs I have now, I have a lot of bushes to trim. I have trees to trim and I needed further length. If you know, if you remember, the video I did on the, the ladder I bought, and I have, I put the thumbnail to that video right here. I bought that ladder because I had that short hedge trimmer, and it would allow me to get up to higher places easier. Well, with this thing, it'll make the job even easier. So, my business is growing, and I'm going further with it. And I need I needed to upgrade and when that happened it was the perfect opportunity now the specifications on this are I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the uh, the features on it first the features are it has a double-sided blade it re reduced emissions for caring for nature is what they call it multifunction control handle and a loop handle now, the one thing I like about it, and I'm going to bring this to the camera so you can see it. Can 
You see number two right there? That's what I like. Built in the USA. That's what I like. Now, for the specifications on this thing, it's, of course, a gas-powered. It weighs 13.7 pounds. The blade length is 24 inches. The cutting attachment is 24 inches, which is the same thing. And the shaft length, which is this part here, is 59 inches. The overall length is 95.3 inches. Engine power is 1.2 bhp. The fuel capacity is 18.3 ounces and the displacement is 1.5 cubic inches. And it says, note, the uh, weight displayed is dry weight. In other words, no gas in it. So anyway, I'm investing back in my business is what I'm doing. And it was time. I was not expecting that to happen, but sometimes things like that happen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you maybe found some things on here that you didn't know. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you found it entertaining. I want to thank all of my subscribers. Guys, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I don't know what's going on with the algorithm. But if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I looked at my, uh, my um, statistics, and 95 or more percent of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe. And guys, that, that bothers me. I want you to subscribe and help this channel. I want you to subscribe and become a part of my family. I'm not doing this for my help. I'm doing this to help you guys. And if you watch my videos and you've never subscribed, please, I encourage you, please subscribe to the channel and become a member of the Big South family. We would love to have you. Without going any further, this is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV saying live big, live southern, and live outdoors. Have a good afternoon, folks.